On All Souls Day, it's the tradition of the Catholic Church to pray for the dead. So today we've come to the St. James Cathedral in downtown Brooklyn, and we're going to be looking for the tombs of the first two bishops of Brooklyn, Bishop John Lachlan and Bishop Charles MacDonald, who were both buried in the basement of this church, the crypt area. Now, nobody has seen these tombs in quite some time, but legend tells us that there are still pieces of the tombs beneath the church. Monsignor John Strinkowski, the rector, has invited us here today, and he's going to bring us downstairs at St. James Cathedral. Let's see what we can find. Monsignor, tell me something about uh, the history of St. James in terms of the building of the first church here. Well, the uh, property was purchased in 1822, and uh, building began almost immediately. Uh, the cornerstone was dedicated in eight, uh, March of 1822, and then the church was completed in August, August 28th of 1823, mm -hmm. and dedicated by the Bishop of New York. Toward the end of the 19th century, it was too small, and so beginning in 1902, they decided to put up a new church using some of the walls from the old church. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, though, in extending it, they had to uh, go over the cemetery. In the basement of St. James Cathedral, we entered through a red steel door that was bolted shut. And this, underneath here, are the remnants of the old cemetery of St. James Cathedral. We're going to take a closer look. We crawled beneath an air conditioner duct and a heating pipe. And as we looked up, we saw before us a subterranean cemetery old tombstones in different state of disrepair. These were not the bishop's tombs, but the burial places of the early Irish immigrants who established St. James Parish. When we realized that the bishop's tombs were not in this part of the cathedral, we decided to regroup and check out another part of the church. You know, it's been a while, but uh, th that decoration almost looks like what's on the on the sarcophagi, or in, in that area You're of right. the crypt. You're right. They describe it as a, I have a clipping from the Daily, uh, from the Eagle, but they describe it as a marble circular, circular. Right, right. with a chain all around it. We didn't exactly find the tombs of Bishop Lachlan and Bishop McDonald, but we did find this slab, which apparently marked the spot where Bishop McDonald was buried. And it says, Bishop Charles E. McDonald, the second bishop of Brooklyn, who was consecrated in this cathedral in 1892 and then entombed here on August 13th, 1921. And the first two bishops, Bishop Lachlan and Bishop McDonald, were buried in a sarcophagus in this space. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Archbishop Malloy um, had the bodies moved to the seminary of Immaculate Conception in 1943 out mm -hmm. in Huntington. So uh, we, we just have uh, a remnant here of the, of the plaque for Bishop McDonald. Well, we're a little disappointed that we didn't find exactly what we wanted to find here at St. James Cathedral, but we did learn an awful lot about the history of our Cathedral Basilica here in downtown Brooklyn. And we use it, our visit, as a reminder that today, All Souls Day, is a time to pray for those who have gone before us.